Hello, my name is Jim Garman, and welcome to today's episode of Lamentaro. Today we will be comparing two different DeWalt compound motor saws. On my right over here is the DeWalt DW715, and my left over here is the DeWalt DW716. These saws both have a 12 inch blade on them, they come with the same blade, the base of the saw that turns it back and forth, exactly the same. The fence is exactly the same. Even the motor is exactly the same. However, the big difference is on DeWalt DW715, the motor is up here on the front. It's a gear driven motor, so it's not directly on the shaft of the blade. On the DW716, the motor is in the back over here and it's flipped onto the other side. Now, what this allows is that the, the DeWalt DW715 over here can only tilt in this direction, while the DeWalt DW716 over here can tilt in this direction here, but also in the other direction. So if you're going to be doing a lot of crown molding type of work where you need to be cutting both directions very frequently, this saw can be a lot more useful. However, the big difference in price is that this saw is only about $220 right now. This saw, on the other hand, is $350. So that's a significant jump in price between the two saws. And all you really get between the two saws is that this one can tilt in the other direction. A couple other little minor things. This one does have about a half inch more vertical clearance when it's right up against the fence. As that goes out a little bit farther, that disappears. If you're cutting a 4x4, four four, that works fine on both saws. If it's a little bit taller than that, though, if it would be like a 5x5, five five, something like that, it doesn't really exist, but if you were to cut something like that, this motor can interfere with that cut. So in a couple rare instances, this can get in the way. The other thing is because this saw is belt driven instead of this one that's just gear driven, there's more parts that can go wrong. The belt can wear out, it can get clogged, things like that. Now, of course, DeWalt was smart, and to remove the belt, there's just a couple screws here. You can pull this cover off, swap the belt in and out. Pretty quick and painless, but it's not something you have to worry about with the DW715 over here. Both saws take the exact same accessories. This saw actually have equipped with a white light. You can put one of those on here, or a laser, extended fences, that all works the same uh, between both saws. Because this one is belt driven, it does sound a little bit different. It also runs a little bit slower. It runs 200 RPM, it's at 3800 RPM. This one runs at 4000 RPM. It's not really going to make any difference in any real life situation. So it also sounds a little different, so if you could listen on this one here, versus this one here, they both take about the same amount of time to come up to speed. It just sounds a little different, nothing really significant between the two of them. They both cut exactly the same. Now if you have, have any more questions about the fence or the other mechanisms of the saw, how you change the blade, anything like that, which is common between both saws, you can check out my review of the DW715, which I did a couple weeks ago. So which saw is the one to buy? My choice is the DW715. It's a significantly cheaper saw, you're going to save 130 bucks on it, and there's one less thing to go wrong with it. The ability to tilt to the other side isn't all that useful, unless you're somebody who's doing crown molding all day, some sort of other finished carpentry, then it may be worth it for you to use the DW716 instead. It doesn't take a lot of time to make up that price difference if you're using the saw every day. Thanks for watching. If you're curious about any of the things that are common between the two saws and you want to watch my review on the DW715, that can be found right here. If you can't click on the link, it'll be in the description of the video below. Hello, my name is Jim Gurman, and welcome to today's episode of Lamentaro. Today we will be comparing two different DeWalt compound motor saws. On my right over here is the DeWalt DW715, and my left over here is the DeWalt DW716. These saws both have a 12 inch blade on them, they come with the same blade, the base of the saw that turns it back and forth, exactly.